right, so today we are in Dushanbe, Tajikistan. And we're about to go try some traditional food at one of the it's a pretty famous restaurant here called Chaifon Al Rohat. It's a tea house. And uh, it's been here basically since Tajikistan got its independence in 91, September 9th. And we're gonna go check it out with a friend of ours named Adam. So here we go. So we're just walking down Rudaki Street to the restaurant. Well, you walk in and I think like the artwork and stuff is super cool. It's really pretty, but it also feels kind of random. I mean, the upstairs makes a little bit more sense, but downstairs, you it's like walking into a lobby and then there's just like tables everywhere. So basically today we're with Adam. He's our friend here. <laughs> He's our tour guy. Tour? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll let him introduce himself. My name is Adam. Um, I was actually born here in Tajikistan. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I live in, uh, I grew up in, uh, and currently live in uh, Orange County, California. And today we're gonna try Osh. How's that? <laughs> it looks so yum. It got served with a salad called Salat. <laughs> it looks just like Kachumbari in Kenya. <laughs> So in uh, Tajiki tradition, normally people share food, and especially with Osh, because it tastes more delicious, that's the saying in Tajikistan. Everything tastes delicious with a group of people. <laughs> it's like sharing and caring. <laughs> well, this is our group. Three's a group. It's true. Yeah. Three's a crowd. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to try it. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Osh. Osh is, or we call it Palav, it's an authentic, traditional Tajiki food. Uh, people prepare Osh when they have weddings or they have like, big parties. So it's a big deal. And I'm very excited actually to try it because I haven't tried Osh since I got here to Tajikistan. It's been more than a week. So uh, I've been dreaming about Osh, so. <laughs> As in Tajikistan, they say Osh is hot, like the weather here. The Czech and have been around for the same uh, for 80 years. The food here not as great but people come here for the historical uh, historical value of this place. It's very historic but however I want to emphasize that the food is all right. It's not one of the best but you can come and spend some time here if you're in the Shambhi. We're gonna go check out this non quick. Here is the, uh, the pot that they make normally. It's a traditional pot. Actually, this is very special pot because like, if you want to try to cook the osh. Oh. There you have it, Chaikhwana Rohat, Osh, and Nan with Cohen and Adam. What's your name? Your Tajik name? Safar. Safar? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Safar? Like Safar, you know I. Safari yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we've been on playing safaris. Safari and Safari. Oh, yeah. All right, so here we go. But next we're gonna try kurotob, another really tasty Tajik dish. Finally gonna go get kurotob. This is actually our last day here, but we weren't able to get it the other days. 
So we're gonna go meet Adam right now quick and uh, go get some kurutong. Show you what that, ta this is like real, real Tajik food. Shmoba yaksaro siu du mere, ne? Name da yaksaro siu du deku jo? Me waksha ka yaksaro siu du mere, ne? Yaksaro siu du. Yaksaro du? Yaksaro siu du. Hash mere afte gam jo? Oh, hash me. Man shuni dam ke hash ba yaksaro siu du mere. Shmoba ne chko mekin chko dore? Man shuni dam ke yak oshkona has ke kurutob dore. Am kurutob me. So I'm in an 8, but they said they're going to 102, not 132. Yeah. Yeah. So meet you at 102 then? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah, do. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not exactly sure what it is, but I guess we'll find out. Sounds like yogurt. <laughs> Back on the cut. Back on the cut. As per usual, I think I'm the only woman in here. We're gonna count how many men are behind me right now. That's a lot. So we're gonna have the traditional kruta, which is uh, a Greek yogurt uh, with bread. They bring it in a big wooden dish. And they have pieces of bread again with the, some yogurt and oil. I mean it basically sounds like a big greasy croissant. <laughs> is made uh, it's like a cherry. Ooh. There we go. Whoa. Oh that's not oh, what no, I thought that was. Like so you take this thing, it's called bread, right? It's a normal bread. Just a part. You take small pieces of piece of the bread and then you just scoop it. Basically like you dip it and you scoop. Mm. Eat it however you like. So good. I don't. What is this oil made out? Oil is weird, huh? Try to put all with meat. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. So this is like the most Tajik food you can get. Kuru Is it? The most authentic. Authentic, yeah. So it's obviously yeah. Ash is Tajik. Shashlik is Tajik, but it's come from different countries. Supposedly, Kuru is from Tajikistan. <laughs> Can't eat anymore. <laughs> But this is the end. Yambosh. Yambosh. <laughs> Adam's gonna yambosh. Oh, it's like you stretch out for five minutes and then you start eating again. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Alright, we're done. We finished it. Well, we didn't finish it, but it finished us. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Seeing Kurutob and Osh. This is the end of the video. Salamat Boshed. Rui Safed. Hobo's deed. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>